viewers thanks for watching our videos if you not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss ninth question solution what is that is if z varies directly as x and inversely as y find the percentage increase in z due to an increase 12 percentage in x and decrease of 20 percentage in y so what is z varies so here z varies directly as x so that is z is directly proportional to x and inversely as y so let's take differently here let's take z is directly proportional to x and z is inversely proportional to y so what is this constant you can take it is here z is equals to k x and z is equals to k by y that is equals to k will be equal to z by x and k will be equal to z into y so if you combine all these expressions actually so you will get z by x into y that will be equal to k so what is the formula here is z1 y1 by x1 will be equal to z2 y2 by x2 that will be equal to k so that is the formula we will get why because x is inversely means it will go into product if it is a x is directly means it will go into divide so find the percentage increase so first one is z1 y1 and x1 percentage increase in z2 due to an increase so what is x2 value here increase in 12 percentage so 12 percentage of x1 and y2 will be let's take y plus y1 minus decrease right so for that 20 percentage of y1 so in that it is decreased so what is this x2 so let's take x2 will be x1 plus 12 percentage of x that is 12 by 100 into x1 so that will be equal to let's take lcm 100 x1 plus 12 x1 by 100 here 1 12 x1 by 100 so that is x2 value next what is y2 value so let's find out y2 y2 will be equal to y1 minus 20 percentage of y1 so that is y1 minus 20 percentage means 20 by 100 into y1 that will be equal to so here 100 into y1 minus 20 y1 by 100 that will be equal to 80 y1 by 100 so we can cancel it here actually you can do cancellation here itself or you can do again so we got x1 will be equal to 1 x2 will be equal to 1 1 x1 by 100 then y2 will be equal to 80 y1 by 100 so what is our formula z1 y1 by x1 that will be equal to z2 y2 by x2 so z2 we need to calculate so z1 we know y1 so what is that his here is z1 y1 by x1 into x2 by y2 so that will be equal to so z1 y1 by x1 right like that x2 is what here 1 1 2 x1 by 100 whole divided by y2 is what 80 y1 by 100 so that will be so z2 will be let's take z2 will be equal to z1 y1 by x1 so here let's take into 1 1 x1 by 100 into 100 by 80 y1 so 100 100 will going to cancel then x1 x1 will going to cancel then here y1 y1 will going to cancel then z1 it is there so actually it is 1 1 2 by 
into z1. So 1 1 2 means 2 4 z 2 5 z 10 then 2 6 z. Then 56 56 by 40 into z1. So 2 2 z then 2 2 z 4 then 2 8 z. Then 2 10 z then 2 14 z. Then 2 5 z to 7 z. So what we are getting 7 by 5 into z1 that is z2. So z2 will be equal to 7 by 5 into z1. So 5 1 z 5 then 2 will be rewind then 0.4. So z2 will be equal to 1.4 z1. So 1.4 z1. So what you can write here z2 will be equal to 1.4 z1 so that is you can write 1.4 as 1 1 plus 1 plus 0.4 into z1 you can write so z1 1 into z1 plus 0.4 z1 that is z2 z2 will be equal to z1 plus 0.4 you can write it in the format of 40 by 100 then you will get 0.4 that is z1 40 by 100 is nothing but 40 percentage into z1 so z2 is increased with 40 percentage of z1 so thanks for watching please subscribe Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribed, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module, we are going to discuss 10th question that is, if x plus 1, man will do this work in x plus 1 days. Find the number of days that x plus 2 men can finish the same work. So let's take here, number of days and number of miles. So, number of persons or number of people will be, let's take x and number of days to finish the work that is let's take y so let's take here x1 y1 then x2 y2 so here what they are given is here is first one x plus one men x plus one men within x plus one days then what they are given find the number of days we have to find it here with x plus two men so if number of person y will be increase so the two are inversely proportional that means so x is equals to k by y then k will be equal to x into y that means so what you can take here is x1 y1 will be equal to x2 y2 so here x1 is what x1 is x plus 1 into y1 is x plus 1 that will be equal to x plus 2 into y2. So let's take x plus 1 whole square will be equal to x plus 2 into y2. So y2 will be equal to x plus 1 whole square by x plus 2. So that is the case. So that is the answer. So what you can take number of days x plus 1 whole square by x plus 2 is answer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module, we are going to discuss given a rectangle with fixed perimeter of 24 meters. So what is that that given is? Perimeter will be equal to 24 meters. If we increase the length by 1 meter, the width and area, area will vary accordingly. Use the following table of values to look at how the width and area vary so the length varies. So let's take here rectangle A, B, C, D. Then this is length. That is length will be let's take 7 cm. Then what is this? This is also 7. If you add total you will get 14. Then this is breadth that will be equal to 5 cm this is also 5 then you will get total perimeter 24 meters so actually here all centimeters are given that actually this is meters 
so sorry meters so these are all meters this is also 5 meters so let's start our values with here length is 1 meter width will be 11 then area will be length into breadth that is 11 length is 2 means width will be 10 then area, area will be 20 so length is 3 means width will be obviously it is 9 we are decreasing 1 while increasing length 1 it is decreased so 18 plus 6 so width will be 18 plus 6 then 3 nines are 27 area then 4 means 8 32 will get 5 means 7 so here this only that is 35 length into breadth 5 into 7 6 means 6 that is 36 7 means 5 that is 35 then 8 means this is 4 then 32 9 means this one 3 27 so like this so if you increase continuously length of your rectangle then width will be obviously it is decreased and area also it is decreased and increased so let's take what you can take here as if your length is increasing length will increase continuously then your width will decrease so at least inversely proportional to width according to if perimeter same if perimeter same then what you can say another one is here if l is continuously increasing and width is continuously decreasing then area may be increase and decrease continuously so area is depend on area is depend on both length and width both length and width so like that we can do if perimeter is increasing then what you can say perimeter is constant if perimeter is constant thanks for watching please subscribe